And welcome back to Wake Up America. I'm Allison Maloney. Let's take a, this, take a look at this week's business headlines. Joining us to do that is the Executive Vice President of the Commonwealth Foundation, Jennifer Stefano, and America's Accountant, Accounting Professor, Dan Geltrude, who has joined us on the couch with his money shoes. We showed yes, them in indeed. the earlier hour. Those are great shoes. And we're talking Thank money because that's all we yes. do in business, right? From head to toe. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. All right, Dan, the markets ended uh, this week on a sour note with a Dow Jones, S&P 500, and NASDAQ all ending down. What's the cause of this panic? I think the panic relates to how much the media is playing up this COVID variant, getting everybody nervous, and we need to step back and say, is this really a problem? The real problem is, is the policy reaction mm -hmm. to the variant, not necessarily the variant itself. Now, listen, I'm not a doctor. Don't even play one here <laughs> on TV. But I have to say, you know, we are not seeing the deaths and, and serious illness that we saw before. So why should the market overreact? It shouldn't. Mm -hmm. It will come back to where it needs to be. It's the government's. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm from the government. I'm here to help, right? Yeah, That's yeah, yeah. That's Please, no. That's the issue, right? <laughs> hey, I want to get Jennifer in here. Hey, markets have like stability, right? They, but it seems things yes. are increasingly unstable. What are your thoughts on that right now, Jennifer? Well, when you have a government that's going to take on a big health issue like COVID, it has to be very transparent in how it is going to make decisions, and it has to be consistent in how it makes those decisions. So far, the Biden his administration has been neither of those. Uh, they should not be this reactionary to a new variant of COVID. We know COVID is now likely to be endemic, meaning it's going to be with us ad infinitum. So they should have a measured response, yes, a response, but not reactionary. And so I think that is very problematic. I think it makes it already skittish market because of inflation, even more skittish. And that the government and the Biden administration has to be aware of what they're doing here. All right, if you're a parent, or you may not even have to be a parent to have this affect you, but many are scrambling at the dinner table. So chicken fingers, they are the latest to be affected by the supply chain crisis, which means we may see higher prices at the grocery stores and restaurants. Experts say the tenders require more processing to package and sell than chicken nuggets do. So chicken nuggets are safe. That's going to be good in my home. But uh, for parents, at least, uh, Jen, you're a mom. Uh, you know how yeah. much this hurts, right? It's like one thing after yeah. the next. Yeah, please. If chicken nuggets are, are disrupted, I, my life's going to fall. Apart. Yeah, so please too. fix this. But I, I will say this. Look, Americans, they, they do three things every week, right? They eat, they drive and they pay bills. So what is hitting them the hardest? It's their food bill. It's their gas bill. And when they're paying their bills, the utility bills, all of them are going up. It's why there's not a lot of exuberance around these job numbers. Sure. Uh, they're anemic. They're not looking good. People are getting back into the workforce, but wages aren't keeping up with inflation. This is not a great time for the American worker. Jennifer, that's such a great point. I've said before in this pandemic, the minute that it starts affecting Chick-fil-A, the Lord's Chicken, that's when oh, we're really going to have yeah. a problem. But yeah. there's also uh, other problems, right? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> but you think that's a problem, right? The New York Times has an article about impending doom. There's actually a cream cheese shortage in New York City. Uh -oh. Per this article, Sunday bagels are a sacred thing. So this is a real big problem, right, Dan? What do you think? Yeah, I absolutely agree, because if you're not going to be able to have cream cheese, on a bagel. <laughs> We're talking revolution What's the point of a bagel people, without the cream cheese? The people will stand up on an issue like this. Just it's like opinion. another Tea Party movement, right? Yes, it's it exactly. will. The bagel movement. There is a, a, bagel. There is a bagel shop outside our, our office, and there is a line. I don't know if you ever walk by it, but there is a line, a Always. long line. People stand in the cold for that, and I guarantee that cream cheese is important to go with your bagels. Uh, I agree, and I think, again, the people will have something to say about this. There's certain things, as you said, uh, T.W., that are sacred that's one of them. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to stick with food or kind of food. Uh, Jennifer Chipotle launched an $8 cilantro soap bar made of, of organic oils, and it's already sold out uh, the day after it launched. Uh, Jennifer, have you heard about this? Is this on your list? Yeah, I, I've heard. No, I'm not a lover of cilantro, but I do know after you leave Chipotle and you read the Marxist quotes on their bags, you need a shower. So maybe <laughs> that's helpful. And by the way, the, the cream cheese shortage is a great way for the GOP to turn New York red. Here's how you go in and you run ads and you say, hey, that shortage you're experiencing cream cheese, that's Bernie Sanders America. How's it going for you? Boom. Now all the sudden it. New York's Republican. <laughs> I love it. All right. Uh, also, Dan, now you're a car guy. I am a car right? guy. So um, let's check this out. Hyundai released an electric car that will look familiar to anyone who loves a classic 80s car look. 
Uh, where would you buy this? Well, that's not exactly the classic look that I go for. <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I'm more of a uh, actually a 50s yeah. car type guy that I collect. Now, if you look at something like that, I mean, it does bring back some fond memories for me. However, I'm not looking to drive around in that, and I think my kids would be horribly I know, embarrassed they would to definitely. see me in something Mine like that. Like but listen, back in the 80s, that was really cool. That so. was cool. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, Dan Geltra, Jennifer Stefano, thank you so much. Thank you for having us on. Of course. All right. To so Washington now, where U.S. intelligence.